Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps interviews. Now I have a profile with me. So the person is having around seven years of total experience in IT and with relevant experience in DevOps is around four years and relevant experience in cloud is around four years. The preferred public cloud provider is Azure for the person and uh, I've asked a few questions on the service connections uh, with him. So this interview is mostly concentrated on Azure DevOps and I have been saying this quite uh, since, since quite long that whenever you go for an interview, whenever you go for any SRU DevOps based interview, know your application and at least the build cycle. Build cycle means if there are five steps, 10 steps or 15 steps in your production pipeline or in your pipeline from step one till step end, like first step would be what? Like checking out of the code and the last step would be like deploying to production. You should know each and every step because the person who is going to interview you, he's going to ask you like, okay, this is something uh, that what you have done in uh, what you have done differently. And uh, if I want to create a new pipeline and if you are a team lead, how will you do it? So these are the questions that are mostly based on the step by step. So you need to know each and every step. And if you want to practice it, just take out a pen and paper and practice each and every step and uh, practice in front of a mirror that, okay, if the interviewer is going to ask me this question, how I'm going to answer this question. Okay. So this is one important thing. So in this uh, interview, you'll be uh, seeing that I'll be asking the step by step thing, like how the code checkout is happening, how the build is happening, what kind of project he has worked on. Is it Java based, C sharp based, .NET based, something like that. All right. So uh, and how it goes till production. All right. So that would be the interview for today. All right. So uh, again, I would like to request that if you're new, we're here and see me for the first time. My name is Ravish and I create content for DevOps and cloud related stuff kindly subscribe the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, what is your total years of experience? Six years, 10 months. Six years. Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, in DevOps? In DevOps, four years. Okay. And in cloud? And cloud again, I have a um, four years, but uh, I have not worked on much much uh, functional actually. Only creating a VMs, uh, creating app services. Okay, uh, which cloud do you prefer? Azure. Azure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Can you just walk me through the project? Yes, sure. Uh, prior to this organization, I work with. Uh, where we work for a project called Health Management System. So there we have uh, different kinds of applications. All applications are .NET Core and .NET Framework. So my, my day-to-day -day activities and my major role is that. So I need to onboard the uh, onboard the client or project, whatever the pro new project is there, and I need to create the uh, dashboards, Azure, Azure Azure dashboards for that to monitor their project, and I need to assign the particular work work template according to their requirement. Uh, after that, I need to create a repos, uh, uh, and uh, using that report, I need to create a CACD pipelines. So once it is everything is done, I can hand over it to the team. So these are my day-to-day -day activities. Okay. Okay. So um, you worked on Azure DevOps most of the time, right? Yeah, I'm Azure DevOps, CACD, yes. Okay. Okay. So how do you create a service connection in Azure DevOps? Service connection? Yes. Uh, suppose like uh, we have sonar cube uh, to in we integrated sonar cube with azure devops mm -hmm. uh, while integrating actually sonar cube was uh, uh, the uh, what it was not it was not there and i have went to the marketplace and i downloaded it from there Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I uh, create and I configured uh, with Azure DevOps that I that time I use that service connection. I'm asking, how do you create it? Uh, sorry, I'm not able to recollect it now. Actually, you did it long back in when I was in IBM. Okay, okay. Um, so, what were the things that you were doing in Azure DevOps? Uh, uh, that only uh onboarding the clients and creating a repos and uh, creating cacd pipelines when our infrastructure is all ready so the uh, we use the same infrastructure or the same resource group to deploy our applications then sometimes if it is not ready if on the on the fly if we need to create we just created the vms they provide the details of what created type of the VMs where exactly 
Right. And Azure, uh, they create, they will give the details uh, for which 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 network that needs to be created. So on that, uh, using the details, we created it. Oh, um, okay. Let's not move to Azure as of now. We'll stay on Azure DevOps only. So I'm just asking, what were your responsibilities in Azure DevOps? Yeah, that's that's what I'm. What all my responsibilities? So I need to create CI/CD pipelines for the new projects. Okay. Okay. uh what do you understand by azure boards uh like to mon- to maintain our project uh, to monitor our work items like uh, status of the project who all working and what work items so we have azure boards azure boards will help us to track that okay is there any other tools in the market like uh, that yeah Similar- we have jira yeah. Uh, yeah yeah we have jira so why should i use azure boards if i have already have jira yeah if you already have jira uh, like if you use the azure dev apps uh, you can like uh, already along with the azure dev apps you will get the azure boards right so you can track and you will get uh, uh, le- up- updates what at all what at all you have and you will take uh, immediate actions right suppose uh, i raised uh, i have a, i have uh, one a pipeline which which, is, which needs to be deployed so for that i created a task and uh, uh, so that task like need to be approved to get executed so i feel like uh, when we already have I mean, something in azure dev apps and we are using azure dev apps so i feel that uh, we will go with that okay okay uh, what are all the containers does azure dev apps support containers yes Containers? Do are you like uh, any containerization tools you're talking about? Yes. What all the tools that it supports? Have you ever written Docker. any pipeline or something in which we use some containers? Uh, pipelines I did, but we use only classic editor pipelines only. No, not YAML. No, not YAML. So only classic. Only classic. Do you know the difference between both of them, classic and y- with YAML? uh difference like what i feel like uh, uh so we can pick the uh, task whatever we do uh, in classic editor but the, the, for the same task uh, we need to write uh, uh to call that particular task we need to write ml ml script so i feel that okay and and we can say if so if we are going with ml we can save that uh, into our uh, repos as well so whatever we do updates so that will get uh, uh, reflect in our repos as well so that is a major uh, difference i feel okay so uh, you said that you have worked on uh, .net based projects have you ever worked on any yeah, yeah. any other projects like java based C- any any other thing uh, no java based i did not work and in highland i got a chance to work on c sharp projects but actually already that dip- like uh, pipelines are already exist their ma- main concern is that like uh, that are uh, getting more time like uh, Four to five hours to build a package, single package. So that is their concern that they uh, requested to cut it down to half an hour, uh, like that. So I I seen that pipeline, but I haven't uh, created a C sharp pipeline. Okay. Uh, C plus. Okay. So uh, consider a scenario, okay, in which uh, a person from the development development team is writing code in C sharp or .dot net based anything, and he's putting his code into repositories. uh take okay azure devops may like you can take git github or you can take just azure repos anything okay now can you create a pipeline till production uh from that and what are the all the steps that you will use in the pipeline and uh, the tools and technologies and what would be uh, the way you will deploy it till production can you just create a pipeline and walk me through the steps yeah yeah sure so first we need to build the package to build the package we need to create a ci pipeline uh, we will uh, before before creating a pipeline we'll select that repo from where uh, the exactly code need to be pulled mm-hmm. so c sharp right you said mm-hmm. so first we'll uh, uh, col- uh, collect that uh, code and after that we'll uh, take a step called nugget nugget restoration so so nugget step we'll take it so after that uh, uh, will uh, will take a uh, uh, c sharp application build 
so uh, the task for it and after that if any testing is there like sonar cube or anything is integrated no 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 so no. we'll wait wait. Uh, wait 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 the first step is uh, checking out the code okay yeah you'll, yeah check you'll just check out the code okay yes yes the second step would be uh, building the code right yeah step right uh, so how do you build the yeah. code yeah uh, using a dot net uh, you can say ms build using ms build or visual visual studio build we can build the code you were talking about uh, nuget something right uh, what happened to that suppose uh, if any references in the code we have uh, we need to use that into our uh, we, something we used in our code so to call that uh, we'll use this nuget restores okay okay what is the next step third step yep after building the code we need to uh, test it right uh, any test case we return uh, uh so, does building your code produce it produces anything artifacts it will give okay what kind of artifacts it all build artifacts that's what i'm saying what is a build artifact like what does it produce there could be some kind of file right yeah it will it will create a, a build package file build build package okay uh, any any okay i'll quote an example okay when you create a java artifact it will produce class files and then you can pick it up in jar file war file or an air file what happens yeah, to yeah. c sharp or dot net based code what kind of packages it produce some kind of files right any kind yeah of, yeah extension any, yeah file any, extension any idea any idea what kind of file it produces uh json like uh, no 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 what uh, no i am not able to recollect it now have you heard about dll it's files it, oh sorry yeah yeah what yeah. E what exactly is a dll file uh, uh dll file is the, is that like uh, while while we publishing uh, like while producing the artifact uh, it will give in the in dll files only right dot net codes no no do you know the full form of dll dll full form uh no no i have okay any idea like what does it contain uh, it contains so, like uh, so whatever uh, manually if you are building a code it will have the package right in the dlls also uh, the same way we will have okay uh, what is the next step after you produce Uh, after produce, uh, if any sonar cube or anything uh, integrated, uh, we'll uh, test that uh, uh, package. So after that, we'll publish it into uh, artifact storage, like any shared shared storage. If we have, we can store there, or uh, otherwise, it will store into Azure Artifact. Okay. So whenever you produce these artifacts, uh, these DLL files, uh, you just keep it like lying over there, or you just put it into some kind of artifactory or a place yeah that is what i'm saying artifactory which uh, artifactory azure artifactory azure Artif azure cloud yeah azure cloud or azure artifactory yeah i mean to say azure artifactory only the naming okay okay azure artifacts okay all right uh, after that uh, the fifth step uh after we uh, you were talking about something related to testing right yeah 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 the sonar cube and stuff yes yes okay so uh, what what happens uh, with sonar cube testing this uh, fifth step uh, like uh, uh, if you are not mentioning any uh, any uh, custom uh, custom um, rules so it will automatically test how many number of li lines of code is there and whether the code is are vulnerable or whether co the code is uh, 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 good or correct uh, what is the person uh, percentage of that code so these all details it will give okay okay so what do you understand by technical debt in uh, in sonar cube uh, technical uh, i did not get to brief it technical debt d e b t technical debt. okay okay uh technical 
तो वट इज use uh, technical depth in the sense i am no, no. uh, the meaning of it you can explain just the meaning or a definition anything anything would uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 actually uh, sonar cube uh, it will help uh, it will help help the developer uh, to uh, like uh, write the code ac- uh, accuracy of that code uh, it will it will help like uh, it will suggest like uh, the number of lines of code should be less than it should be uh, productive pro- uh, like uh, application application wise uh, productivity it will improve okay uh, what is the sixth step sixth step no you deploy the code right okay okay so uh, this is i'm talking about ca when once the ca is completed then mm-hmm. we will uh, deploy the code using uh, a cd okay okay uh, Uh, if already uh, the environment is set up and resource groups is already created mm-hmm. uh, I, i will just uh, try to deploy using uh, uh, whatever the wherever the i'm, I'm saying uh, we, stored, we stored it in azure artifact right mm-hmm. so we'll uh, we'll try to uh, take it from there um, uh, we'll we'll face it that so as an as an input so that uh, will will create a tasks will create a jobs so if suppose simple task only one server we need to deploy so we will uh, deploy it into one particular we will we'll create only one task for it and we will create deploy it into the particular server only one server or one service uh one sir i mean to say if only one application is there that needs to be deployed and only one okay one so service yes okay so this application is kind of a web service app service or you deploy it in a vm or something uh it's web service only we have most of the things what we have okay uh, so there is no dev qa stage environment directly deployment production no no you like, no no you like uh, so it, it you ask me about the production right so direct step i'm saying but we have we have dev we have qa we have stage and we have production four environments we have okay okay so first it goes to dev stage then, then qa then, then qa then, then then to production yes okay. yes okay i think i'm done thanks for your time